Hello friends, welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at box layout and its orientation. So you will know how to use box, lay box layout. So here you will know how to use box layout. Then we will see how to place controls horizontally and vertically using the box layout. So box layout is from Java X dot swing package. So one can construct box layout by using this uh, favorite version of constructor. So the first one will take the container for which this uh, box layout is uh, employing. The other one is the orientation of the control or component placement so this is the container and in what order you want to place the components in x-axis or in y-axis that we specify using this uh, constructor so once this is done so here there is a container right say for example uh, we created a j panel let's say we created this then we pass this uh, container x here then we tell x or y uh, orientation after that to this x we will add the component so when you start adding the component let's say you add three component uh, and we will say we will add a text boxes text one so since we already specified a box layout and the orientation is x or y axis the component will get oriented in this direction so there is one more step that get involved here x dot set layout even though the constructor takes this j panel in the set layout also we should set the box layout so this is the way we will use the box layout and the container now let's say uh, the box layout uh, here the box layout is on y axis and we are using this for the j panel so since we are adding the three text boxes the layout will get oriented like this actually there will not be any gap here so if you see the this is what called the y-axis that means when you start adding the control the controls are stacked vertically and if you use x-axis it will just look like your uh, flow layout but when there is no room it won't expand to the next line and it simply goes on the direction that means the box will expand so simply the box layout is so j panel then you will create a box layout and then we will assign it to the container after that you will start adding the control so if uh, the box layout is asked to uh, span in x axis direction then when you start placing the control it will be placed left to right fashion same way if you specify y axis instead of placing control here text 2 in y axis it will get placed here the third control instead of going here it will come here just like this now let's say that um, we have a j frame or j dialog whatever and let's assume that the j frame is having a flow layout let's state that this is a p1 and this one is p2 i mean panel one and panel two and to this j frame let's assume that we are adding panel one and uh, panel two uh, let's say we are adding panel one first mm, 
next P2. So what happens since we are adding P1 and if you see this is the box, the box will appear here. And next one we know it's P2, P2 will appear here since it's a flow load. So since it's a flow layout, flow layout is seeing these two panel as a component and it placed first panel, next it placed the second panel because it's a flow layout that's why it is arranging the panel P1 and P2 from left to right uh, fashion. So now since the box is invisible only component placed inside will be visible inside the J frame. So ultimately what you will get, you will get components placed like this txt1, txt2. So if you see, uh, some controls are uh, vertical, some laid out in horizontal fashion. So you think of uh, these borders are not displayed, then you will come to know how the components will be displayed here. So that's all here in this uh, theory part. So this is the example we want to create in the next video. And if you see, we will create a three panel. This is uh, panel one with the box layout. And uh, as you see, this is a uh, y-axis. That means we create a box layout. Uh, then we will add three control while we create a box layout we will specify y axis so three button the same way here also we will create a box layout and we again specify y axis and then we will start adding the controls and you can see the buttons are added vertically after that we will create a, this box layout and here we will specify x axis and these two are text area and you can see the flow here is horizontal that means the controls are added uh, first a control ta1 is added towards its right ta2 is added but here b1 is added below button 1 b button 2 is added below button 2 button 3 is added same goes here so totally, if you see, there are three panel we are using. This is a P1, P2, and P3. Then we will add this panel to our J frame. As you see, the components are placed one after other. So for J frame, we will use a flow layout. And here you will know that we create a three box layout, three J panel and the three J panel uses a box layout. Uh, first panel uses Y axis, third panel uses Y axis and the second panel uses uh, X axis. That means horizontal orientation, vertical orientation and vertical orientation. P1, P2 vertical orientation, P3 is horizontal orientation. So a demo we will see in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.